we have a four command center server, and uh, we are connected right now to almost about 25 to 30 centers. And these 30 centers, so we, we are almost getting 35 to 40 cities every day. And uh, these are the very these machine we have to cut And uh, the moment the suppose any patient goes there, and any of these clinics or any of the nursing homes are the hospitals, small hospitals, and the medical are connected. And, Whenever there is a the moment comes with a pain, the ECG is taken and through the software is immediately relayed here. And we can within, within a fraction of a second get the spaders and along with the hemodynamics, along with the blood pressures, along with the oxygen saturations. And we are the one here who immediately after seeing the ECG we normally see the okay. So uh, yeah, then um, once we report it back. Can really tell them that you know, whether it's an ongoing heart attack or what is to be done and what should how is it should be managed. And uh, the normally the, the the trick here is the are uh, the, the most important thing which is important important is the turnaround time. And I can tell you with proud that you know almost for the last we are running this pilot project for the last three months and uh, nearly we had about 3,500 3,700 ECGs in the last three months and our average turnaround time is four minutes two seconds. Whether it comes in the night, two o'clock, or it comes in the day, two o'clock, whatever may be the time. So usually we have iPads at home. In, even three, in addition to these, we have iPads. So the moment it comes, it rings. Either he, me, or somebody else. So that's the first stage, and we have a single point activation center here. Like the best part of it is, suppose he says, okay, there is an acute MI, you need to answer the patient. So with a single point, we activate. The ambulances, we activate, activate the cath lab, we activate the ICU, we activate the cardiologist and the support team. So everything with a single point. So that's so we can cut down the most of the time and the golden hour is, is safe and uh, in, we can deliver the better services with that. And uh, of course we have the, this is a phase one of our, uh, the, the whole government center is. Our phase two is the one which actually can be shown here that where we are doing a, a live echo, where what will happen is the pain, like suppose let's assume that there is somebody who had insanity pain and we are not sure whether he is having an acute MI or non MI, down PCE changes. If there is a technician, we don't have a require a cardiologist, we don't require any doctor there, even a technician who can just take three views long axis, short axis, and the, the four chamber view, it gets released here, that's how it gets relayed here. And from here itself, we can say, and then you know, directly we are online and we can uh, see the, what is the visual motion abnormality and we can precisely you know, uh, diagnose what, it, what is happening there. So that is a phase two which will be very soon we will be kind of getting connected to that. And our final phase is this which is called a cath lab. And already uh, fortunately we, we have run this pilot project in the cath lab also. That is we are connected to the far flung areas and the remote areas and the smaller city cath labs. We are connected to Jabalpur. We are connected to Nepal in two centers and we are also connected to Malaysia in one of the centers. So recently it happened in Nepal that you know the patient, they were doing a procedure, then they got struck, they gave me a call, they said okay come on to the lab and then you know we could almost take a control of the lab from here and step by step we can tell them you know how to proceed. That's awesome. Oh, really awesome. Nice. Okay.